Okay, in this example, we also are asked to do synthetic division. And I check, and I've got a couple things going on here. I've got a missing coefficient, and this is not in the correct form of x minus r. So dealing with the missing coefficient, no, no, excuse me, missing term. I have a missing term, which I'm going to represent with a coefficient of 0. So first, addressing the missing term. I'm missing a z squared term. So I have 6 z to the fourth minus 8 z to the third. Since I have no z squared term, I'm going to use the coefficient of 0 for that, 0 z squared, minus 4z plus 8. OK, that's taken care of. Now, the other problem I have is that this is not in the correct form. In order to have this z have a coefficient of 1, I need to divide all the terms in the divisor and the dividend by 2. So I'm going to do that. So divide by 2. Divide each term by 2. Divide each term by 2 to get the form. I'm going to say z instead of x because we're going to z minus r. OK, so 6z to the fourth, dividing that by 2 is going to give me 3z to the fourth. 8z cubed divided by 2 is negative, so it's negative 4z cubed. 0z squared divided by 2, 0z squared. Negative 4z divided by 2 is negative 2z. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So far, pretty good. 2z divided by 2 gives me z, which is what I wanted. Now here, when I divide negative 1, by 2, I am going to get a fraction. And it makes it more difficult to work with, but you can still do the synthetic division. Now I'm ready to set this up. Here, I actually i am going to take negative 1 half. I'm going to take the opposite sign and write it here. So that is 1 half. Then I'm going to put the coefficients here, my new coefficients after dividing. 3, negative 4, 0, negative 2, and 4. OK, bring down the 3 and multiply 3 by 1 half. So 3 times 1 half is just 3 halves. OK, 1 half times 3 is 3 halves. Now, you might need to work out the arithmetic on the side, and that's fine. So I have negative 4 and 3 halves. So negative 4 is equal to negative 8 halves. I want to get the denominator, a common denominator. Adding that to 3 halves is going to give me negative 5 halves. So this is negative 5 halves. Now, multiplying 1 half by negative 5 halves is going to give me negative 5 fourths. So this times this is going to give me negative 5 fourths. 0 and negative 5 fourths is just negative 5 fourths. Now I have to multiply 1 half times negative 5 fourths. And this is going to give me negative 5 eighths. So I have negative 5 eighths here. I want to get a common denominator. And uh, so I'm going to do negative 2 times 8, which is going to give me negative 16 eighths. So this is negative 16 eighths plus negative 5 eighths. And it's just 16 and 5 is negative, tw so I have negative 16 and negative 5 is negative 21 eighths. So combining these to get negative 21 eighths. Okay, now 1 half times negative 21 eighths equals negative 21 sixteenths. So this times this is negative 21 sixteenths. I have to add that to 4. So I want to figure out what, I want to get a common denominator. So 4 times 16 is going to give me 64. So 4 equals 64 sixteenths. So I want to take 64 sixteenths minus 21 sixteenths. And that is going to be 64 minus 21 is 43 sixteenths. OK, this was kind of messy to do, but synthetic division does work. 
um, and we'll end up giving you the correct answer. So what you need to look at here is that this is a degree of four, so this is actually going to be a degree of three. So rewriting this up here, my quotient is going to be three z cubed minus five halves z squared minus five fourths z minus 21 eighths and I have a remainder of 43 sixteenths. So two things to notice. We had a missing term here. The z squared term was missing, so I had to use the coefficient of zero. And the second is that this was not in this form. So I had to divide every term in the numerator and the denominator, the divisor and the dividend, divisor and dividend, by two, and then proceed as usual with synthetic division. So that concludes this lesson on dividing polynomials in for educator.com.